I get this question a lot like yo turbo what are your settings how did you get enemy name tags yellow etc etc so hopefully after this video i can just refer those people who keep asking me about my settings to this video right here so before we get into today's video can we hit a like goal of 500 likes i would really appreciate it it will show me that this is the kind of content that you want to continue to see on the channel and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here or you watch my videos but you just haven't subscribed yet what are you doing man what are you waiting for join turbo nation today baby all right so the first setting that we're gonna go over is my button layout and my button layout is tactical flip now the reason why i have it at tactical flip it just allows me to drop shot at the same time while not having to worry about taking off my fingers off of the controller so it's just very convenient in certain situations for me to be able to do that the reason why i have it on flip is because i like to use my top buttons here l1 and r1 to be able to aim down sights and fire my weapon it just feels a lot more natural for me versus using the triggers on the back of the controller it's a lot more responsive and lastly it just makes it a lot easier to be able to shoot opponents from long distance because you're able to burst fire even with automatic weapons from long range and that's why i feel that having it on flip gives you a slight advantage versus the opposition now dead zone is one of the newest settings that infinity ward added so for example if my thumbstick was slightly driven to the left i might want to turn this up or down you know you have to play around with it go into a private match go up against the wall don't touch your controller at all see if those crosshairs move just a little bit and then make some minor adjustments to your dead zone either going up or down my sensitivity has gone up quite a bit in the past few months because i'm trying to teach myself to get used to the higher sensitivity it's just really advantageous to be able to just turn on people in a snap like that if you're not sure how to pick your sensitivity just go into a private match play against some bots and turn your sensitivity either to the highest setting or the lowest setting and just move around get a feel for it and if you don't feel comfortable with it just keep moving on up or keep moving it down until you feel comfortable now for the ADS sensitivity multiplier mine is on 0.8 so same rules apply just go into a private match test it out now the high zoom is more for when you're using a sniper me personally I'm okay with a one because I don't really mess around with snipers that much but if you're a sniper then you might want to tamper with these settings in a private match now for the aim response curve i just use a standard i don't really feel a difference when i'm using linear or dynamic now for controller vibration i personally have this off for a few main reasons number one i don't want my controller dying as fast as if i were to have it on and number two i just feel like having those vibrations of the controller is a little bit more of a distraction when i'm engaging in a gunfight all right so for my aim assist you can either go two ways with this you can use standard or focusing now the reason why is because focusing i actually did a video on this focusing gives you the best sticky aim that you could possibly get and it's pretty much broken at this point but going with standard is actually not a bad choice as well because it still gives you that same sticky aim not as much it just allows more room for you to be able to make minor adjustments and focus in on your target now the other thing about standard that i do like is that rotational aim assist that's when you're hip firing and your crosshairs tend to stick on the opponent when you're strafing left and right and that's the advantage that i do like with standard and why i still use it to this day uh, but for somebody who's new to call of duty i would definitely go with focusing now precision is more for snipers it also does not have that rotational aim assist it's not as sticky as focusing or standard would be now for my weapon mount activation i have it on double tap aim down sights you know it's just convenient you know you just come up to a corner and you double tap your aim down sights button as simple as that uh weapon mount movement exit is disabled uh aim down sight behavior is hold equipment behavior is hold as well my use and reload behavior is contextual tap so this one is actually really helpful for warzone when you're trying to just move around the map keep that momentum fast you don't need to hold to grab objects now the one caveat about this contextual tap is that you may be picking up weapons on accident that you didn't mean to so when you're reloading make sure to hold down on the square button so that you're not caught in a situation where you're picking up random weapons on accident depleted ammo switch is going to be enabled slide behavior is tap as well auto move forward is disabled automatic sprint is disabled for me vehicle camera is enabled parachute auto deploy is enabled as well because sometimes we get in those situations where we just forget to pull our parachute i mean it's happened to me it's happened to people i've played with so obviously you don't want that to happen when you're just first dropping in in warzone all right so for general my brightness is set at 50 because i edit videos obviously so i like to have it at the default setting as much as possible so that i can mess around with the settings post-production uh, but for somebody who has trouble seeing things in the game i would definitely turn up that brightness up a little bit now for the safe area this is also something that's pretty new that i've changed so for the safe area i have it on the minimum amount as possible because if you scale it up as maximum as possible it's going to be harder for you to scan your tv or your monitor especially if you're playing on a bigger tv you know you're going to have to look up to the left or look up to the right 
but if you have it to the minimal amount of scale as possible your eyes don't have to travel around the screen as much you know it's just all right there and centered in the middle in front of you all right so film grain I have this all the way down of course you don't want your game looking ugly so you want it to be as clear as possible uh, tool tips I do have enabled that's just a personal preference subtitles another personal preference I have that disabled I find it to be distracting to me if I'm just reading something on the screen and then an enemy happens to pop out out of nowhere that is going to be the reason why I died because I was reading the subtitles all right so language selections obviously English because I speak English it's my native language uh then for colorblind type this is the biggest setting that everybody is always asking me all the time this is how I get yellow name tags right here I have Deuteranopia, Deuteranopia. Let's just take a look at the differences first. So this is disabled, you know, it's clear as day that there is a huge difference between this and then this, this, and then this. This is also based on personal preference. We all see things differently. So you may switch between Deuteranopia and Tridenopia, but as you can see here, if you look at these circles here, one, two, and three in front of you, there is a huge difference between the colors here. Now you tell me which one's more colorful, Tridenopia or Deuteranopia. So uh, for me personally, it's Deuteranopia. That's why I have it on there. Now for colorblind target, I have it on both. So you know, you if you want to have your world a little bit more colored, then you would have it on world. And if you only want your interface, which is obviously going to be your menu settings, etc., then you're going to have it on interface. But if you want it to both, then you can have it on both, such as I do have it here. Now, world motion blur, a lot of people I see making this big mistake, even when I'm doing sub reviews, that they still have this motion blur enabled. Have it disabled. I mean, look at the difference between the left picture and the right picture. It's just clear as day that, you know, if you're turning around sporadically, you are definitely going to miss an enemy that might be there. So you want your picture as clear as possible. Now, weapon motion blur, same things apply. You want that off as well. So have that disabled. Now for the heads up display, this is also something else that I do see players making the mistake of. So you always want to have your mini map on square because you clearly do see a lot more in your mini map when you have it on square. And you also want that mini map rotation to be enabled as well because when you're turning around, you also do want that mini map to turn around with you because if you have it disabled, then only your character on your mini map is going to be turning around and you're not going to be able to see enemies who might be in your immediate area. So always have this enabled as well. Now for compass cardinal direction text, this is also personal preference. You can have it on letters or numbers. It just depends on what you're more comfortable with. I just have it on letters. I mean, I don't really use the compass that much to be pinpointing where enemies are when I'm playing Warzone. For me personally, I just use the ping feature a lot when I'm trying to tell my teammates where exactly I've seen an enemy. So that just works out a little bit better versus telling them like, hey, West 270 or whatever. Gore effects, I have this enabled. I feel like it's just a full experience of Modern Warfare. However, if you're an adult and you have a kid or something, you might want to turn that off so they don't see those uh, nasty gore effects that do happen in the game all right so for audio for my audio mix this is something that i've played around with over the last few months i've tried out different settings here and i find for me personally home theater works best this might be a personal preference as well because I hear frequencies at a different rate than you might be hearing frequencies. So I've heard that uh, boost or boost low does help out here footsteps a little bit better. Uh, but for me personally, like I said, home theater works best for me. All right, so master volume, I have this all the way up at 100. Uh, music volume, I have this all the way down because I don't really care to hear music in game and I find it to be distracting as well when I'm trying to focus on the situation at hand. Uh, dialogue volume, I have that all the way up as well because I do want to hear enemy call outs i do want to hear enemy call outs who might be nearby so this is going to be very helpful as well effects volume you always want that all the way up as well because you want to be able to hear footsteps when people are reloading their weapon or using equipment this is very helpful now juggernaut music i have that disabled it's just a personal preference hit marker sounds i like classic because i've played modern warfare 2 that was my first call of duty so of course you know i want that nostalgic feeling when i'm hitting my enemies all right so one important setting that i forgot to cover was to actually turn your crossplay off we all know how annoying it is to go against hackers and cheaters people using aimbot wall hacks etc especially when you're playing warzone just there's nothing more annoying than making it really far and then just losing to somebody who's hacking you know it's just not fair so always remember turn off crossplay when you're about to play multiplayer or warzone that way everything is on a fair even level battlefield all right so that's about it for all of my settings hopefully you guys found this video helpful for those who keep asking me what my settings are and if you did find this video 
video helpful make sure to drop a like show some support it really show me that this is the content that you enjoy seeing and make sure to subscribe if you are new around here to make your way back to the channel so that you never miss another new modern warfare video so hope you guys have a great day and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace so what's going on guys if you guys are interested in watching me play live my twitch is in the description down below make sure to hit that follow button and i hope to see you there peace